Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve problem D zigzags from Code Forces Educational Round 94. So the problem statement is very short. We are given an array A1 through A n and we have to calculate the number of tuples i, j, k, l such that these two conditions are satisfied. The outline of the video is first we will see the approach, then the code and then a running example on a test case. So let's begin. A very brute force approach would be to have four nested for loops, each for i, j, k and l and check whether a i is equal to a k and a j is equal to a l. If both of these conditions are satisfied, then we increment the answer by 1. So time complexity of this approach will be we go of n to the power 4, which will time out. Let's take a look at the constraints now. So n has to be between 4 and 3000. So we need an O of n square approach to solve this problem. If you look at the condition carefully, you might realize that we need only two different things. That is, you need only AI and AJ. And then AK and AL will be the same as AI and AJ respectively. So out of the four things, it would be enough to just get two of them. If you consider the numbers in the tuple as x, y, x, y, then what we'll do is, we'll brute force over y and x of indices j and k. Then count the number of x before j and the number of y's after k and multiply both of those. Because you have the option of choosing any x before j and choosing any y after k. You might ask why only choose the middle two? Why not brute force over the first x that is index i and first y that is index j? Well, that's because using that method, you will need the count of y's after k. But we do not know k. We just brute forced over i and j. So in that method, you won't be able to get the count of y that is index L after k. And hence we need to brute force over the middle two indices so that we easily have a prefix count and a suffix count. Now our problem is reduced to somehow fetching the count or the number of occurrences of a particular number in a prefix of the array and a suffix of the array. Let's take a look at the constraints once again. So all elements are between 1 and n. AI is between 1 and n. So what we can do is maintain a 2D prefix array where the rows will store the prefix count of a particular number and the column will have the prefix count up to a prefix j. That is more formally prefix of i j will store the count or the number of occurrences of a number i in a prefix of length j of our array a. Let's take a look at the code to understand more clearly. So we take the input of array A and then initialize prefix array and here in the two nested for loops we build the prefix array. So for i is equal to 1 to n we iterate over all possible elements. Uh, remember that the elements can only be from 1 to n and for j is equal to 1 to n we iterate over all array indices. If i is equal equal to a of j, that is the current element we are iterating over using i is the same array element a of j, then prefix of i j is prefix of i j minus 1 plus 1. So we increment the count or number of occurrences by 1 
else we keep it as it is then we initialize our answer to 0 then we brute force over the middle two positions that is j and k and then for a particular pair of j and k we get the prefix count in the variable pref count using our 2d matrix and we get the suffix count in the variable suff count which will be a difference of two prefix sums and then we multiply both of them and add their product to our answer finally if you are interested here is a full running example on a medium sized test case So that's it for this video, thanks for watching and see you next time.